How are you? I'm good, Kathy. How are you? I'm just, I'm like blushing. That's why I'm glowing because I'm so I'm like a nervous wreck. My heart's like in my. Oh throat. my god! You're so good. You're so good. So, You're so, so, good. Good. so excited. So I have what you wrote here. Do you want me to share it and then you can kind of expand on it? Sure, because I don't remember what I wrote. <laughs> yeah, you're like, what the hell did I write? What did I write? Okay, first of all, I love your Insta title. It's her handle is the Scrappy Athlete, which I just like a lot. And she sells coaching and she's going to launch a membership soon. I mean, just from being, see right now. Okay. Like tell me in the chat, like what you feel from her. Like, I want her to be my coach. Look at her vibe. Tuned up, tuned on, turned up. <laughs> love it. Oh, I love um, it. Yeah. You're great. Ideal client. You wrote male, female, forties, fifties into endurance sports, running triathlons. Okay, great. So you said when you have limited time for your, this is her words. When you have limited time for your business, I work full time. She said, and I can only focus on one area of the business versus multiple channels. So how do you choose? I work full time. I want to launch a membership program to start January 1st. I also want to do a podcast, but I don't feel I can successfully do both. Okay. Fair enough. So let's talk about, yeah, let's talk about working smart and versus working hard. So, um, you're ready. I mean, I can just feel how ready you are and I'm so ready. Yeah. You're so ready. It's so I'm obvious. Ready. I want to do all the things, Kathy, all the things. What are you currently doing in your coaching work? I know you have a job and then you're doing this coaching. So what are you doing after work hours? Currently I'm coaching privately two to three to four clients, um, one-on-one, -on -one, you know, packages like that. I did a group back in January after me to do this. You completely inspired me. I just started going live on Zoom. I was like, that's yes. it. I'm doing, I call them the scrappy hour. I made it up. <laughs> I literally just said, who wants to come? And I had them every two weeks. And then I said, I'm going to do a group. And I did that. And I had eight people in my group. It was amazing. So I want to, and then I start, I, so I have four kids. I have two jobs and I also do Ironmans. So I train like a lot. So my time is like eensy beansy. So that's why that this question is so is so important to me because I yeah. want to do a podcast. I want to launch a membership. I want to run a group coaching. I need to be cloned because I, I it's just I will do master of jack of all trades, master of none. And I know my advice to my clients is I have a saying I say, um, go deep with less, like take less things and go all the way in do three things well, then 10 things not so well. So mm -hmm. I have to take my own advice. And I always, my other, my other phrase is run with one, take one thing and just run with it. Just go with it, go get it. So I had a radio show about 10 years ago, back when podcasts weren't a thing yet. And it was like an internet radio show. And it was the most fun I ever had. And I loved it. So I'm like, I could do a podcast. I could, and then memberships are appealing to me because it's not the one-on-one -on -one, trade the time for money. Cause I have so many other things. And that's why that was appealing to me. So you know, like, I don't know what to do, but then I get private clients, which I love because I just love working with people one-on-one. -on -one. That's, I've been doing that for 10, 15 years. That's my, that's my wheelhouse, but I don't, I don't have the bandwidth I had 10 years ago before when I only had two kids or one kid, I don't even remember. I lost track. So I can't, use that business model anymore, Kathy. I mean, and my dream is to retire from my full-time job. I work in education, which is great. And I have a cool job, but I want to do this. I want to speak. I want to have a podcast and a show. I want a platform. I want, you know, I want all the things. And I, I truly believe I can have them. I am so with what you're saying. And every day I try and broaden my belief, like even bigger, think bigger. I hear what you're saying. We're only capable of what we see. I'm like, what else is there? And I'm just, you know, I'm a little restricted. And part of me is like, if you want to take the island, you got to burn the boats. And I get that sometimes, but, you know, leaving the full-time job, it's just four kids and colleges and all this stuff. It's, it's just hard. So I, I've been wanting to ask you this question probably since last year. So I know I've been rambling on and on but I also want to be a speaker. So there's that. So anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm just dumping. Oh my, I'm my God. This feels, God. okay. Here's the thing. Oh. This feels so good. Like it's so fun. It feels so good. I can feel how much you want this. So I love that you came 
all in with your desire, right? Do you see how, let, watch what's happening. Do you see how good it feels to see her light up like a Christmas tree? Do you see what that's doing? Okay, just notice. So here's the thing. <laughs> you yeah. started out by saying all of the reasons why your real question was, what do you have to choose? Cause you can't do it all. And then in the end, before I interjected anything, you're like, and I really want to do all, I actually want to speak and I want to have a TV show and I want to do this and I want, and then you said this word, but I'm restricted. So what if like, that wasn't true. So here's just one perspective is I have three kids. I don't have four though. You trump me there, but I have three kids under the age of nine. Now I have a TV series, which I can't wait to tell you guys where you can watch it. I'll let you know before Thanksgiving, a TV show that I'm shooting. Right. And if I explain the amount of things that go on, right. Obviously there's a podcast. You guys know that I'm writing my second book right now. I have a meeting with my publisher right after this Okay, second book. Um, what else am I doing? Well, I do this membership, right. And Kelsey and I talk after every call and Leslie and I talk every day and Colleen and I talk multiple times a day. So we run this membership and what else do we do? Well, we just finished made to do this and now we're launching our podcast program. So we do that. We just started something called the insiders, which is like for people who listen to the show. So what do I do? I make extra content every week for them. What else do we do? So we also have the quitters club, which we put together, which I have to find time to promote, which I do, which we've had incredible passive revenue come in through. Um, and I had a meeting yesterday about what to do with my songwriting program, which is still, you know, kicking. And there's a whole other team that I run that runs that. And on top of it, I was at three back to school nights last night, running around. I feel it. So the part that I don't have is none of that stresses me out. You love all of it. It just exhilarates me because here's the deal. We all have the same 24 hours in the day. And I just don't believe. I believe it's the opposite. When you do things that give you juice, it gives you energy. Mm -hmm. What I don't do is I don't get to watch any TV. Yummy. I've only seen one episode of the morning show and I know I'm behind. Um, and I only even saw the first 30 minutes of it and, and, and nothing else, right? Like nothing else. Um, I don't. Uh, answer a ton of email. Look at how many emails are unopened on my phone. 8,000, 8,600, right? So I have a team who helps me with some of the more important ones. Anyway, so I'm just throwing that out there. I think that there's this really big like Hoover Dam, which is like, you have to choose. You are restricted. You can't, it's like, or you're not. And then you go I'm moving right along. Like, of course I can have three kids and a TV show and a pod. It's like, as long as it's on the calendar and I'm going to show up for it, I'll be fine. So here's the other thing though. I don't have to do any of those things perfectly. I can just trust myself. So it makes doing it really easy. So when I was shooting the TV show this week and we're shooting again tomorrow, literally, this is what's crazy. There'll be zero time. Zero time will be, will be allotted to think about it mm -hmm. and rehearse it and zero. And before the podcast, there will be zero preparation. I will just show up for the conversation that I don't have time for. And when I do the ads for the sponsors for our podcast, I literally read them one time. There is never me going back and reading them three times. I'm not, I'm not concerned about, I'm just going to do them. So that is a choice. And yesterday with the open houses, they were all on Zoom, but they might, you know, they could have been in person. Either way, I was like running from one Zoom, closing it, going to the other, coming back. And I didn't, I kind of let go that I would have all the information because all three of my kids' open houses were all on the same time on three different Zooms. So I let that go. Okay. Okay. So all that's, all that's that way. Um, at the same time, I'm a really big fan of building the bridge instead of taking the leap. So when it comes to your job job, uh, it sounds really obvious that you, I mean, you said it, I don't want to do that. I want to do a TV show. You used to do radio. You want to have a book. You want to speak. So let's just do that then. Let's just do that. Let's do that. That's really what you want to do, right? That's what I want to do. 
Okay. So then I see it every day. I see it before I go to bed. I see it when I wake up in the morning. I see it when I drive to work. I see it in the shower. I literally go to bed and wake up with the same picture in my mind. It's like, it's there. Um, and it's, it's, I, I think what I'm doing is I'm torturing myself. There's, there's a part of me that's like, why are you torturing yourself? Like you see it, you want it, go get it. Stop, you know, stop waiting for permission. Stop coming up with reasons why you can. I'm coaching myself, obviously. And I tell all my clients, you know, I give them permission. I'm like, you got this, like who's standing in your way. So, you know, just hearing myself talk to you about it. And this is why I created the scrappy athlete. Cause everything I do is scrappy, kind of like you. I run from one thing to the next and the hair's in a ponytail and I spritz it and I throw on some makeup and everyone's like, how do you do this? I'm like, smoke and mirrors, people. You should see the trail I left behind me. I mean, look, look, look at her, for God's <laughs> sakes. Um, I just like, what I is done? You said you're in education. What do you do in education? And how much, how much do you have to make to replace that? I am a guidance counselor. I'm a high school guidance counselor, which is a super fun job. And I coach on top of everything else. I coach the varsity volleyball team in my spare time. I know, cool. which is, I'm actually, I took off of work to be here. This is super Colleen cool. told me that. the That's most really exciting nice. thing I've done. And I was like, I will, will not miss it. Uh, so I have to go back and coach my game later. So I coach volleyball. And like I said, I train, you know, pretty much all the time. Um, I don't watch a single stitch of TV ever in my life. I don't read. I don't shop. I don't go out with girlfriends. I don't You're a guidance that. counselor. How many hours a day? So I'm at my desk at 6.55 in the morning and I leave at like two-ish and I do work at work. Like I'm on my, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm doing my emails. I mean, I'm multitasking. I'm as efficient as I can possibly be. So, um, you know, I, and like I said, I did your, your uh, program last year and I loved it. And I squeezed in all that stuff when I could. And even in those little itty bitty December, Christmas time holidays, I launched this group coaching program with eight people and Amazing. 20 or 25 that showed up for my life. So, you know, there's the proof of concept. I know there's something there, but there's also the who is my target audience and all of the, which niche I should go for. Should it be busy moms that want to race triathlon and marathons and exercise, or is it, you know, athletes in general? It's, it's Do you want to be a guidance counselor and a varsity volleyball coach? No, no. I'm in that office every day, Kathy. And I just want to climb out the window. I'm like, climbing the walls. I'm literally like, feel like I'm in a jail and I love kids. So that's why I coach. Cause I love the girls. Like I love being with the kids. Yeah. So that's the best part, but I feel so, I just want to bust down the walls and, and just like, how many years have you been doing that? 20. Well, I took off a bunch of years cause I had three kids in four years. So that was fun. And, and I launched a coaching business back then, Kathy, you'll love this. I, I launched my own private coaching business to replace my income back then. My husband's like, you have to make like six figures to, to stay home. I was like, done. And I did it. But then I had to go back. My maternity leave was up and I had to go back. So I stayed out for like four or five years and did the, the coaching and speaking. And then I went back to education and I've been there ever since, since like 2014. So you and just said done. So he said, you need to make six figures. So you're like, I did the six figures, but then my maternity leave was over. So I went back and took a job that was less than six figures and did no, that more than six figures. My job okay. is more than six figures, but okay. Okay. I had to replace it so I could be home with my kids. And I was like, it was great. I was home with my, So baby. you replaced it. This is just so <laughs> amazing. You're amazing. Isn't she incredible? You're like, done, it did it, <laughs> replaced it, made the six figures, but then I went back to a job that pays me. Okay, I'm happy to know that it pays you six figures, but it's not as scalable as working for yourself, no. not at all. So then you took that and now you've been back there, even though you're so clear because you've already have the evidence that you can do this. This mm -hmm. is how I feel looking at you, Leah. I feel like I'm talking to Jillian Michaels and she is Jillian Michaels, right? Mm -hmm. Which is, that's, that's, the, that's yeah. the mic drop. And she's like, um, and I work as a guidance counselor for 20 years and, oh, I know how to do that. I've already done that. But tell me how I can cram the things I want to do into the app. And you're like, why are you a guy that you're Jillian Michaels? I don't get it. Right. You're, you're so charismatic. You're gorgeous. You're accomplished. Um, yeah. So there's some, do you, do you see that there is something there that's like, I'm not allowed to have what I want because I'm, I'm continuing to spend hours a day for 655 even if you can work while you're at work you really can't I mean it's almost oh. impossible like to work 
on stepping fully into your vibration and your, your giant, amazing, like energy while you're at work at a desk, telling yourself, this is my desk. This is where I'm supposed to sit. Telling yourself that every day you're making that agreement. Yeah, I'm a guidance counselor, but wait, your soul's like, I'm not supposed to be here anymore. I've graduated from this. I know this too well. I want the next, I want the next hill. I want to take the next hill. So I think that where I'm going with this is um, we just need to really commit that we are going to replace this income so that you free yourself of this so that all day long, you don't have to choose between a podcast and speaking. You're going to want to do a podcast that leads you to speaking, that leads you to your own show, that leads you to your next book and your next book and your next book and your next book. And, next book. and that's just the way it is. Cause that's what you told me that you want to do. Yes. Okay. So then the name of the game is going to be what's going to bring you into your highest residence, number one. What are you gonna have to start doing? What are you gonna, who are you gonna have to start being that's gonna put you back knowing who you are? That's number one. Number two is what's gonna bring in the most revenue fastest so that you can quit your job. Right. And maybe then you can quit your job in June, right? It's the beginning of the school year. You give yourself this year, right? Very, that's, that's a reasonable amount of time for you to really hone how you're gonna own it Mm-hmm. You're going to have to own it now, Leah. I know. Okay. And then you're going to make that revenue. So you mentioned a membership. What do you charge for that? Well, I haven't launched it yet. Um, my thought was $37 per month, um, weekly, uh, monthly Zoom calls with me, and then an expert who comes on also once a month. I was going to have monthly challenges like meditation, okay. journaling. Um, you know, giving away fun, doing your homework and getting a prize, you know, very, but okay. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not feeling that right now. Okay. That's good on the back end. Once we've got you making 500 K. Okay. So, cause you already told me you set the bar high here. Okay. You told me that this job pays you over six figures. So I got to get yeah. you making like 300. Okay? I need to make like 300. Yeah. Okay. So, so you got to choose a different fishing hole. Okay. okay. You're not going to coach people who want to trade you $37 to start looking like you. That's not a $37 body. <laughs> it's not. Okay. You. My yoga teacher who comes to my house, it's $198 a session and it's a minimum of three sessions a week. And I go, let me tag you on Instagram. She goes, please don't. Cause I don't take everybody. Right. Please don't tag me. <laughs> oh, that's a level. That's a fucking level. I was like, Cara, I'm into you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I I'm amazed. Okay. I also am going to show you something gross. This is my quinoa and whatever. So I have food made for me now. I have my fucking food made. I'm sorry. I'm swearing, but sometimes I have to swear to wake you guys up and wake I myself love up. I love it was swearing. the next level. Okay. So I have my food made for me. This is $600 a week. And this is not even all my food. Okay. When I told Lauren, who makes my food that I wanted to tag her. She goes, same, same weird comment. Please don't tag me. I'm totally full. And I don't get clients from Instagram tags. What? Huh? What are you saying? She's like, I'm completely full. And do you think Lauren drops the food at my house? No, this sweet guy comes to the door. He's like, Hey, and I'm Joe. How's it going? She's got three assistant chefs. She's got food being made all over town. She lives in the Palisades. I can't even believe she made the time for me. And you guys can see it. I've lost weight. Okay. I'm not just losing weight. She's got me drinking water. Colleen, are you so proud? I drink two of these a day and I've never been able to do that before. That's not $37, Leia. <laughs> it just can't be. Okay. And then when Lauren feeds me my, she sends, gives, gives me the food. I talk to her once a week. That's an extra $250 for me to talk to her for 30 minutes. And it's scary when I talk to her, she's like, okay, let's run down the list. Did you drink your shake every day? I'm like, I didn't buy the collagen. She's like, okay. So if we have this conversation in two weeks and you haven't bought the collagen, just let's stop. And you can rebook me in a few months. And I'm like, oh my God, she's going to drop me. She's going to fire me. <laughs> it's so good. I and she's it. like, I really care about your health, Kath. And I can't, I, I just can't let you not care about your health because we're just going to do this or we're not. And I don't have the time and you don't either. 
And that's what I pay for. That's an amazing container for me. No one's ever cared that much about my health. And I know she cares more than I do. And I'm starting to care as much as she does. So Leah, there's all kinds of people out there. Okay. So you're either going to book people who want to pay you $37 and you're going to work really hard for them. They're really needy. They don't care that much, you know, or you're going to start attracting someone and you're going to be like, you're going to own it. You're going to own it in your eyes. And you're going to be like, this is this woman, Cara, who teaches me yoga. She's 71. She doesn't look 71. She really, really, really doesn't. She's like showing me inversions and stuff. And she's like, okay, so just go like this. And she goes, you know, that yoga keeps you from getting dementia. Do you know that it keeps your, what did she tell me yesterday? It boosts your metabolism because of how it works your thyroid, like all of these things. And she's like, knock on wood. She's like, I'm 71 and she's doing back handsprings. Her teacher is 101. And she's like, I'm yeah, the only it. bummer about COVID is like, I couldn't go around the world. I try to go around the world, like every two years, like make my whole way around. It's insane. That's not $37. It's just not. So you need to find the people. Okay. Cause there's, there's like 8 billion of us. Okay. So you can, you can work really hard for people who care very, 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 very little and uh, try to fill them with gallons and they, they're going to bring you a Dixie cup. And then they're going to go, why have you been giving me all this? And then you're going to be like, how are you? Let me pull you forward. Don't do that. Don't do that. So what can you do, right? What do you really want to do with these women? How do you want them to feel in their body? How do you want them to look, right? Yeah, I want so, them to feel amazing, like just powerful, just own their power and just... Mm -hmm have permission to be who they want to be. Just go out there and do it. Like women are like, oh, I should do it. I've got the kids and the laundry. F the laundry, go for a run. Like stop, you know what I mean? Like it's okay to feel like you want something. You want to race, you want to be good at something. You have that competitive spirit. Let's go. Like, what do you, you know, why do you need to feel, why do you need to put yourself in the back? Like, I'm a very competitive person. Like I love to race, like, and I make no, I don't apologize for anything. Like if you see me at the start line, it is game on. Like, so why can't, and there are women like me that were athletes as kids and just stopped doing it. And now they're like, I'm back. I had my kids and now it's my turn. Like it's my turn to do something for me. And this makes me feel amazing. Whether you come in first or last, it doesn't matter, but it's like, there's something for us now. Like we get to do this. We get to be in shape. And you know what, when I race or train, I feel like a million bucks. I feel so strong and powerful. My kids are proud of me. Like there's something so special about tapping into that part of you, whether I'm not a creative person, I don't sing. I don't, I can't draw a straight line with a ruler, but you put a pair of running shoes on me and I am in my happy place. And I think there's a lot of women like me that feel that way. Their body, they're so physical and they just don't know what to do with that energy. They're like, but what do I do? How do I do it, Leah? What do I do? Where do I go? Am I really any good? Yes, you're really good. Like, I don't know. I, I just think I want, to, I want to blaze a trail for these women. Like I want to show them. I didn't start running marathons till I was 42. I ran my first marathon. I didn't do anything until I was in my 40s. And now here I am and I qualified to race in Kona, Hawaii for the Ironman World Championships. Like, who the hell am I? I'm a mom of four. I live on Long Island. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm a guidance counselor. If I can do that with my limited time and resources, anything is possible, Kathy. Like, so I want to blaze a trail. I want to light the way. I want to be, I want to create this community of women who are just like, F yes, Leah, let's go. Like, let's do this. So I, and I promised myself after my first go around with life coaching and speaking that I would go big if I ever did this again. Like, I'm like, I don't want to do $37 memberships, Kathy. I want to be Mel Robbins. Like, I don't see this as like, this is, I don't know. And I'm sharing all this with how many strangers I don't even know. And I don't care because it feels so good to talk about it. Cause I don't talk about it with anybody. I walk around and I, I scribble in my unicorn yeah. notebook, like a crazy person. So I don't mean, so to here's what's going to happen. You ready? All right. So here's the plan. You're going to enroll a hundred people in a six month program. 
it's going to be $3,000. It's 500 a month. That's $300,000. Okay. I'm going to give you, you can take between 30 or 60 days to get those hundred people. And then it starts, which is perfect. Cause maybe it starts right as the year is ending or the year is beginning. January one. But what you do with these people is they don't just enroll. They enroll with you. It's 500 a month. We're going to talk about reverse engineering, what they're going to be working towards. And they all have to sign up for some marathon. Mm. Okay. So enrolling with you is what they need as the insurance policy that they're, they're a going to enroll in like tough mutter or iron man or something at the end. And they're, they're doing it this year. And your story is what you just said. And it doesn't matter your age. In fact, it matters that you're putting your health first at this time and you tell your story. And if you get a hundred people, if you get yeah, a hundred people to give you $3,000 over six months, that's $300,000. And then on the back end of that, you can do a membership and the membership could be like a hundred bucks a month or something like that. So now you're going to say, okay, so if the goal is that I'm going to have a hundred, if you did it in a month, you need to enroll three people a day. If you had 10 conversations a day, you'll enroll three people. You'll be like, have you ever thought of starting doing a marathon? Have you ever wanted to be this healthy? You're going to have people say yes. And you're going to say, great, we're doing it. Let's go. And this is what you're going to do. Okay. You're going to enroll in that thing, but then you're going to work with me for six months before that. And you're going to work with a collective of women who are like, I've never done it, or I have done it, but we're doing it together. We're all going to, and then there's going to be the photos that people send in and you're going to, you're going to give them all of the things that they need that, you know, that I don't right? like, you know, what people need to be doing on the daily or on the weekly in order to get ready. So you're going to keep them accountable. You're going to check in, you're going to motivate them. This is going to be your inaugural. And it's really, 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 really cheap. Like there are people who are going to, there are people, let's just be clear. There will be people who will yell and scream that you have something that's $3. That's $12. There, those people exist. Let's hear it for those people. Those people exist. Let's not forget that there are people who are going to be like, it's 500 a month. Okay. Right. For me to get that done, for me to do that, for me to completely change my identity. Right. And you can remind people. When we change our weight, when we change our finance, our finances, that's about identity change, right? But what's happening for me now, I keep saying this to Lauren and to Kara, my yoga teacher is I'm like, I haven't drank alcohol. And we just went through a week of Jewish, two weeks of Jewish holidays. We're like lots of gatherings, lots of wine. And I'm like, you know what? I kept thinking I'm a healthy person now. I don't drink alcohol. So that is worth so much. Like we're at this taco place yesterday with my kids after school and they're eating chips and guacamole. And I didn't even want it because I was thinking I'm a healthy person now. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't just sit here and eat chips and guacamole because I drank, I drank water today. Like I I'm changing who I am in my identity. So for, there she goes, there she goes. So for people who want to change their identity, don't sell them that you're, you're not selling a membership. That's not what you're selling. You're selling them an opportunity to change their identity, to be who they are, to step in, to be healthier. I mean, you're, you're selling them an insurance policy to finally stop being so distracted and have, have actual health and longevity to their life. I mean, that's what it's about. So that's not complicated, what I just said to you, but it requires that you stop playing small. I know. And even like, do I do a membership or a podcast? No, Jillian Michaels is not deciding if she's doing a podcast or a membership. She's doing a podcast. She's writing her eighth book and she's going to have downloadable apps and things like that. And probably she has four clients who have her on retainer at like a million dollars a year who she trains. And that's it. And she's not available for anything else. Mm -hmm. So you have to get this. And I think that pretty soon, I think you could do this in the next 30 to 60 days. 
And then you're going to have a really hard time convincing yourself to stay as a guidance counselor. Can't do it. Mm -mm. Can't do it. Uh, but how does it feel to offer a program like that? That's six months of your life, by the way. That's really cheap. I don't offer a six month program for $3,000. It is cheap. It is. I don't cheap. offer it, right? I'm doing a podcast program right now. I know. I'm thinking it's three thousand dollars for eight weeks. Okay, eight weeks, and I'm not doing two calls a week. I'm doing one call a week with them. Do you know how many podcast programs are out there? Right? Do you know how many people they can go learn a podcast from? I think it's like there's people who have them for five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars. Well, those people can go to those people. It's just I'm not selling a podcast program. I'm selling how I podcast. I'm selling the atom bomb of resonance that's going to go off when you podcast like this. And I'm not willing to do it for $500 because I don't want the people who are willing to give that a $500 amount of value because it's not what it is. Well, we haven't had any problems making a million dollars on this launch. And the majority of those people don't even know who I am. They came into this Facebook group, they didn't even know who I was. They just saw that I was doing something on, on Facebook. Okay. There's those people out there. You got to come for those people. You know what happens when you lead leaders? Oh my God. That's who you want to lead. You can't help someone who's not available to be helped. That's exhausting. And it's not going to grow your platform. But if you lead the leaders, people who raise their hand, that's why you see people like, Oh my God, I did this program. Maybe it was amazing. It's like, yeah, because you call in people who have so much to offer, right? You don't, you don't want to call in somebody who would have been complaining that it was $60. You cannot help those people. You already have those hundred people. Sophie's right. They're sitting right now. They're sitting there right now, hoping that you're going to be available to be this leader. I have to find them. I have to go. You don't back. even have to find them. They're just waiting for you to open the invitation. So that means you're going to set a goal the same way you work out, the same way you drink water. You're going to be like, okay, I've got 30 days. Three people are saying yes a day. That means you're going to tolerate 10 people saying, seven people saying no. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that means every single day you're like, oh my God, I'm gifting you the opportunity, right? To have this transformation. We are, and they want a hard ass, by the way. That's what they really want. It's true. Right? You ever watch The Biggest Loser? She's not sweetie pie. She's like, take the hell. Like, you got this, right? Like, you want that. So you get to be yourself, but you get to stand for this outcome. This outcome that has no room for their resistance. Mm -mm. So, Every day you're going to go live and you're just going to have this one thing. This is what it's called. This is what we're doing. You, you pay for your own enrollment. You pick your own triathlon, you pick your, but you do this program, you sign up for that thing. And you look at the, you look at the dates and you're like, you know, you can decide, are people going to be able to do it in month two? Or do you want everyone enrolling in something, putting it on the calendar? They're getting that done locally, wherever they are come May or June. However, it doesn't matter. Go into the new year like that, right? Go into the new year like that. Perfect. So you've got, you know, the next 30 to 60 days, however long you want, you get the people enrolled and that's it. And you can offer, if you want to offer sort of like, you know, an incentive, mm -hmm. you could say, I'm going to do this again in 2022, but in addition to the 500 a month, there's going to be an initiation fee, which you don't have to pay now. And it's amazing, right? I mean, how many of you want to do that? <laughs> I know that it would take that from, I, I'm, a, I'm not there with doing a triathlon or it would take that for me to actually show up and do it. I would have to have that much of a sunk cost or else I wouldn't do it. Mm. But it's not just, that's like the grand prize is that they're going to all do this. What you're really going to do month after month is you're going to get them accountable to their health, right? They're going, this is the $500 that they are worth. 
Okay. And you can come up with all the things from like, here's a list of your school supplies. Everybody needs to buy this water bottle. Everybody needs to check in every day on WhatsApp. Everybody needs this. Everybody, you filled that thing with value. Right. So then the triathlon is just sort of like the icing on the cake, but I mentioned it because you said how much you love doing them. But it's true. The, the, the race is just the, the, the icing on the cake. The journey is all of it. That's yeah. the whole thing. The race, yeah. the metal, that's, that's, anticlimactic in some ways, because it's all about who you find yourself to be along this way, what you discover, what you learn, how you grow. I mean, that's yeah. the beauty. Yeah. The and you can do this in that membership too, right? Cause that's a high container for you, at least right now, soon you'll be like, I will never charge $3,000 for six. Months. Like you'll, you'll soon be somewhere else. But for now, I mean, how much is this really about people's resistance and how much they love themselves or don't. So like, you might want to do some spotlight hot seat type conversations with I, people. I would yeah. love to do that. I would coach yeah. them on the spot. Yeah. And like, maybe you do like an audit, like they don't know who you're going to call, but like every week you text like, or WhatsApp or whatever you're going to use like 10 people and they don't know if it's going to be, and you have to, they have to tell you like what they ate that day or did they get their steps in, or maybe they have to post a photo of their Fitbit that shows their steps every day. Like you can create the kind of accountability that people do not have and they need, you know? So that's what I would say is we got to get the income. And then once you replace that job, then that podcast is going to do a really great job of helping you get people enrolled into whatever your, your offer is, right? So then that's going to be able to come. But we got to get the income first. We got to focus on this offer and this income. And you're already a place where you have, you're a walking billboard for this. Plus you already have enough of an audience that that's why I gave you that assignment because I think you can pull this off. Colleen, do you have anything else to share that I'm missing or that there's just an extra thing you're thinking of? You didn't miss anything, but I really just want to highlight back again. Uh, you made six figures before just like that. Yeah. Like this is like, I'm like, wait, what? How did you even go back to that job? Right. Because oh, yeah. like you could easily have scaled that even at that point. So to me, this is just done. It just is like, there is, it's inevitable. Like it's happening. I think that's scary for me too, Colleen. Like, I think it, sometimes we're afraid of success. You know, sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I get scared of how big, you know, but I'm, it's, it's an old story that I'm telling myself mm -hmm. that I have to get rid mm -hmm. of. And it's an old story and I'm losing that story and just thinking like, why not me? Why not now? Why not today? Why not, you know, why not me? So yeah. thank you. I appreciate that. And by the way, I made up those numbers. If you don't need to replace it with $300,000 and you know that you can say that all you want, but you're not ready to hold a container for $3,000 to come in, you can cut it in half and make $150,000, right? And say, instead of 500 a month, it's 250 a month, right? Like you can do it that way, or, or you can cut the amount of people in half, keep it at 3000, but you know, instead of bringing a hundred, bring in 50 people, you can move that math around. However, you really feel you're ready, but there is no doubt you are ready to serve at that level. And that's what I want to make you aware of. And there is no doubt that there are people who want to be served at that level. And they're not interested in just finding yet another thing that's actually a waste of money because the container's not high level enough. It's not strong enough. And it's not going to really get them across the front, the, that finish line. So that's what I'm saying. What feel, let's hear it. Let's take a little step forward. What actually feels like it's going to stick asking, do you, do you want to bring in 150 grand right now? Do you want to bring in 300 grand? Will you be okay to bring in 150? Would you be able to quit that job? No. Okay. It needs to be more. It needs to be three. Okay. I, so, I want to go for three. And if it winds up being 250, then that's fine. But like at okay. least three is my goal. Yeah. You'll be amazed at how, when you're like, this is what I, this is what I charge, but you're so clear on the value. No one's going to hear the price. It's not going to, it's not going to be weird because it's just the value is so obvious. I mean, if you guys go into that podcast Facebook group right now for the challenge and Colleen can attest to this, there is not one negative comment. Mm -hmm. People are saying things like, I wish I could take this because I'm in stuck or I'm this. There's some of that 
There's not one comment that's like, how dare you? You blah, blah, blah. Oh, and the engagement is like so, so high because I'm not available for anything else. I, I, I just know, like, I know, like, I know what podcasting has done for my life. And I know what I am as a leader in that space. And I know what it will do for someone else on every level. And so they know it too. So excited. Guys, you think she can do this? Yeah. Okay. I can do this. I I can do hard things. This is a hard thing, but I'm I made for this. I want you to let it be easy. Like I want you to see this as like I'm giving people the most incredible gift, which is to put a value on their transformation, on their health. And that's got to become easy for you to give that gift. You don't have to earn it. You don't have to achieve it. You have to see in them their actual greatness. You have to see them at 71 being healthy and not having cancer. That's what you need to see. You need to see them at 84 dancing at their grandchildren's wedding and enjoying it because they started now Mm -hmm. and come for them, right? Be unrelenting. Okay. Because if they don't do it, chances are not great. My mom, even my mom, who's like, you know, a size six and never smoked or whatever. She walks like, like this. And I'm like, why do you walk like that? She's like, cause I sit a lot and I'm on my phone. I'm like, mom, I'm going to hire you a trainer. Like you can't walk like that. And she's like, well, I don't exercise at all. I'm like, mom, what are you doing? You know? And she's like, well, I don't move. I'm like, yeah, that's a big problem. <laughs> you know, like you're 72 and you're, you, you, you have good genes. So like this is like not acceptable behavior. It's terrible. And then I look at my yoga teacher and she's like doing a headstand in my living room. And she's throwing my husband. She's like, it's okay. You'll figure it out. I'm like, she's like schooling him. <laughs> He's like 30 years younger than her. So yeah, let's get excited about this future. You, can you see your future self every day? You see her on those stages every day. So she's every asking day. you to have the courage It doesn't have to feel not scary. Actually, the, uh, you know, you guys know this, I'm sure by now, but the, the other side of fear is exhilaration, right? So if you just feel the fear and then you're like, oh shit, I actually love this fear because it's exhilarating and like, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, let's go. You know, I can, I can have courage, you know, it's amazing. Talk about your kids. You're like my kids in college. It's like, this is the best education for your kids. Oh yeah. It's amazing what my kids see and how they watch me run and just commit to being the best I can be. And I tell them like, why does mommy do this? We just try hard every day and we just see if we can be better and stay committed. And they're telling everyone, my mom's an Ironman. She does marathons. She's done. Th-. And, and everyone's like, well, I'm like, it's, you know, it's fine. <laughs> She's like, so every time I say something, if I ever say I'm tired, they go, but mom, you're an Ironman. You don't get tired. I was like, I do get tired. I do. Get t-. So they like throw it, but it's really cute, but they're so proud. And I watch them sort of learn how to just embrace the, you know, when things get tough and they can sort of push through it and they're, they're really, you know, again, you would never ask your kid to do something you weren't willing to do yourself. Right. So, and you know, what's amazing, you're so deserving of being in the spotlight, but there is some agreement that you've made somewhere where you will let yourself achieve certain things, but you'll only do that. If there's still a huge part of you that sacrifices what you really want as if that's required. Like you can be successful as long as you're successful up to a point. You can be given an accolade as long as you sacrifice your biggest self somewhere. And who knows where that comes from, but we all have it. 
my team hears about my discoveries with myself all the time, because that's what happens as you move through things. You're like, oh my God, I had made this agreement that it was okay for me to, I was just talking when I came on about this, like part of me that was really into being relatable. My team has been hearing this for the last three weeks. And I realized, oh my God, it's my mom. Because my mom has been suffering from depression my whole life. She doesn't leave the house. The windows are, you know, curtains are closed, all that. So there was some part of me that felt ashamed of being as much of a light bulb as I actually am. So in order for me to do my work, it was like, do your work, but dim the light, put on a sweatshirt. You know what I mean? Like no one needs to know you drive a Range Rover, you know, like hold on to it, you know, like come down where they're, where they are. And it's like, well, you don't actually have to do that. You can be who you are and they can tolerate who you actually are. And so there's been just like a huge breakthrough for me. And there always is that next level. So I feel like we all have, we all have that. And it's amazing how it keeps us playing small, but I'm here to tell you that you've requested out. It's not feeling good anymore. And that actually starts to make us feel sick. It's not going to work anymore. So now you're going to be like, oh, this cage door is already open and you're going to go through it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm really excited for you, Leah, and I can't wait to hear, and I can't wait to see what you're doing and we're all going to fly your flag. I bet that there's people in here who would be like, I need to be in that group. I'm, 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 it's happening. So I'm launching it January one, just putting it out there. Anybody who wants to be in the group. That's amazing because it's almost October 1st. So that means you've got two months. You can start getting people ready for this. That's a great Christmas gift people can give themselves. My biggest months have always been Jan- December. They December. usually are. Yep, always. So I, you know, I, I love that brand new start. So thank you so much, Kathy. I cannot tell you how this blew my mind and it was, it way exceeded my expectations, like way. Yes, way. yes, 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 yes. I love it. Well, this was so much fun for us. So thank you. 